And we'll cross now to our correspondent, Gulliver Craig, who's standing by in Kyiv. Gulliver, good afternoon. What is the latest in the Ukrainian capital? Well, my impression this morning from the sounds that I was hearing from the center of Kiev was that the fighting on the outskirts, which is mostly the northwestern outskirts, the satellite towns of Bucha and Hostomel, was quieter today than it was yesterday. But I called about half an hour ago a resident of Irpin, who told me that not at all. The fighting was absolutely continuing, and I could clearly hear the sounds of artillery in the distance as we spoke on the phone. This resident of Irpin said that the Ukrainian armed forces, in his assessment, were fighting extremely well, but it was too early to claim victory and to say that Irpin was back in Ukrainian hands. The Ukrainians are claiming various victories in their counterattacks around Kiev and saying that they've reclaimed various towns. Makariv is one, Irpin is another, but I think that the battle for Irpin is still going on. But the least we can say is that the Russians are not advancing in their attempts to take towns and cities around Kiev. So elsewhere in Ukraine, Gulliver, the humanitarian situation in Mariupol, for example, remains dire. There are reports of mass graves, hundreds likely killed in the strike on the theater there last week. Where does the situation stand there now? Well, yes, there have been pictures of mass graves in Mariupol, video of that that have been circulating now for weeks. And the access to food in the city is extremely difficult. Supermarkets have been bombed. Russian forces have been blocking all Ukrainian attempts to get humanitarian convoys providing supplies into Mariupol. So I think it's uh, inevitable that the city will run out of food also because for people to get to where food might be, it's extremely dangerous. A lot of the remaining people in Mariupol, and there's still tens of thousands of them, more than 100,000, according to the Ukrainian president, are hiding in shelters most of the time and don't necessarily want to walk even a small distance to where there might possibly be some food. We've seen these pictures of this huge queue of people who managed to make it out of Mariupol queuing up to get food. So I think it's pretty clear that they're extremely hungry. And there are reports already coming in, unconfirmed so far, but that there are people in Mariupol who have died of hunger. We can't confirm that so far, but I mean, logic would suggest that it would be the case, given that they don't have access to food. Gulliver Craig, thank you very much for that update.